yo, 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 it's your boy Solid Dusk back with another good one for you. Stop what you're doing if you're not curing your 3D prints. Hit subscribe for that giveaway too. Okay, a lot of people are making mistakes about why they shouldn't use a cure. But here's my cure it's a Creality Cure. I love it. Let's just power this guy on beautiful thing okay so we're gonna talk about why to use this and if you're not using it you better start using it quick so let's get our tools big brush and little brush big brush soft bristles of course and little brush with the soft bristles excellent so what we're going to do is we're going to start putting things into the cure and washing them first. I have a couple of miniatures that I did some uh, Pokemon Moltres characters here. And here's one that I left overnight. And as you can see, it dried and it's OK. And that's if you don't have a cure, this is what it'll look like. OK, so this one we just did today and uh it looks the same but we're gonna go ahead and cure this guy and see what the difference is we're gonna let the other one dry and see what the difference is so okay let's get this guy going take off our uh, plate here it's got the mirror finish we'll talk about that later let's get our cleaning solution and the good thing about this is it saves your solution and has a little leveling system here so you can see how much solution you have left and how much you've used let's get it put in position all right take off the lid as you can see that lid is airtight keeps your keeps your solution in there and keeps it from spilling out okay <laughs> let's get our little minecraft dog here he's gonna watch all right let's get our solution ready and now we'll get our washing basket. We'll put our miniatures inside our basket. Normally I'll put both of those guys in there, but this time we're only gonna do just one miniature. So we're gonna take the other one out and put the one in there we are gonna cure. Perfect. Let's gently put the basket into the solution excellent put our cover back bada boom bada bang bada bang bada boom change our settings here now this cure has several settings and we'll talk about those real quick you have the beginning here is washer cure and then this changes the speed and then that's our timing. And then this is just our start button. Okay. Now once it starts, it starts circulating and pushing the solution up through your character. And it gently agitates the solution and circulates it back through the character. Okay. We'll take a quick intermission and let that go ahead and wash. And we'll come back once it's done. okay this guy looks good nice and washed here so we're gonna take it out and gently pull the basket out just rest that on top of the bucket and let the rest of the solution drip off the character let's take a look here okay so this one has just been washed one time and as you can see the color is kind of starting to change but the detail is being brought out let's take a look okay so this one has been put in the wash and we can tell it has a little more detail than this one that has not been washed so let's put these guys back in our little uh, tray here and then put the other one back in the basket and let's wash this guy one more time just to make sure it got all the debris and things off place our cover 
and let's uh, hit start. Our settings are already good, so we're ready to go. We'll take another quick intermission and let that wash really good and we'll be back. Okay, let's pull this guy out of the wash. Sit it up on top of our bucket here. Let it finish dripping off the rest of the solution. Oh, let's take a look. Okay, after that second wash, we can see a lot more detail and everything looks nice and clean on this guy. This small trees is coming out really good. Yeah. So we can see clarity's coming in and see if there's anything else we need to remove and clean and get any leftover debris that's on the character. And we're gonna go in there with our brushes and really give it a good uh, once over and make sure that we got anything left that the wash did not pick up. Let's grab our large brush. Let's get in there and make sure we got whatever debris that's left over from the wash and from the washing solution as well. The little brush, this one gets in there and really gets the the tiny particles and the other debris that the larger brush may have missed. That's what's good about the little brush as well. It can get in there and, and, and really get in the cracks of miniatures. That looks good. It takes a little time sometimes to make sure you get this right. Okay, now you can see the difference between the one that has been washed and the one that's just been sitting out left to dry. It's a clear difference between the color and it's a little bit more soft looking. It's almost really soft feel as well. Okay. So here we have our two miniatures, one that has been washed and ready for the next step, and one that has not been cured. Take a closer look, make sure there's nothing that I missed. Okay, let's get our lid for our washing solution. What I like about the washing solution is once you make a batch, it's usually good for at least 40 washes. The container makes for easy storage as you can just put it away for later use. Okay. Get our miniatures back out here. We're ready for the cure phase. So we need our plate, which has that mirror finish. We saw it briefly earlier, but now we're ready to use it microfiber towels. Let's give it a nice clean always before you use it or cure any miniature or any figure that you've done in your resin printer. And that's every use you wanna make sure it's nice and clean. Give it a once over and just put it in position gently. This is the brand of microfiber towels I use, Platinum Microfiber Towels. And it's a really good brand. It comes with 40 in a box, so you have plenty. The link at the end of the show. Okay, let's get our miniature. This is the one that has been washed and is ready for phase two, the cure. This is the best part. You just sit it on that plate there position in a way that the light hits every angle as best as possible. Put our lid on and change our settings to cure. We're going to put it to medium rotation, 15 to 20 minutes, and uh, maybe bump it up to 25 and press start. Voila. It's like magic. I keep saying this every time. It's my favorite part. And we're gonna let that UV light cure the resin print. 
I like to watch it while it's actually curing in this process, but we'll take a short intermission and come back. Okay, it's almost ready. Just got a few more seconds here on the timer. Bada bang, bada boom, it's done. All right, let's remove the lid. And wow, look at the color. It's really different now. It has a really good tint on it. It's almost like a, a blown glass look. So the detail is really popping and we can see the difference in the wings and the beak and the difference in the miniature that we didn't wash or cure. Yeah, big difference. Okay. Let's get both of the miniatures here and give you a closer look and we can take a closer look and see exactly the differences between not curing and curing. And as you can see, uh, my left there, the one that just has been sitting out and just drying and the difference between the one that we washed and cured on my right. The color is a significant difference between two. Let's put them side by side again. As we can definitely see the difference between the wash and the cure. And this is ready for paint. So we're gonna prep this guy up and put some paint on it. But simply put, you never wanna do a resin print without having a wash or a cure. You're just wasting your time. It definitely is a big difference and especially when you're going to paint and be detailed with your miniatures. So let's put this away and we're gonna brush off any remaining debris with our small brush. Just get in there and make sure there's nothing left before we paint it and prep it for painting. Looks good so far. Just make sure, and it's always good this step. I know it's tedious, but it's, it's definitely something you wanna do is brushing off any leftover debris and fragments before you paint and before you cure too. Excellent. While we are prepping up, we'll take a short intermission and paint this Maltrese miniature. Be right back. Okay. This is our mall trees after we painted it. It looks really good and you can see just the detail popping out from curing. And again, here is the other one, but we went ahead and washed and cured that one as well. So we're gonna paint that one later, but there they are, both of our mall trees and this color came out really good on this cured resin print uh, Maltrese miniature. So again, that's the benefit of curing your resin prints. And let's take a closer look here. Excelente, nice. Yes, it's definitely a benefit to invest in a cure. And I use the Creality, it's just my deal. I, I love Creality, I love all their products. But hey, whichever resin print you're using, whichever resin printer you're thinking about using, don't even print anything without investing in a cure. Now, one more thing, yes, one more thing special we have. Here's our Squid Game print that we did from our last video. And this was the one that we actually printed 
on the video and we were able to paint that guy we still got some more detail to do and gonna add the detail on his face but there he is and it came out really good bottom line you can't do any of this without having a cure after you do your 3d prints so don't be lazy get your cure wash your prints and you'll have some great work to show your friends just like these squid game guys and our mall trees well that's all i got for you thanks again for always supporting our videos leave a like hit that subscribe and be ready for our 500 dollars subscriber giveaway yeah we're giving away 500 dollars to a lucky subscriber thanks again much love, your boy Solidus. XJR Gaming.